Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Hogsmeade. There's a cat. Uh, thank you for being here. Please, uh, please share the stream with your friends if you could. It's just somebody's house I just walked into. Oh, that's a store. I just stole crap out of their... I just walked in their store and looted one of their... Can I... Hold on. Not that I want to be this kind of person, but... We need to get back on task. Just stealing money from people. Quidditch stuff, right? What is going on here? A lot of kids everywhere. Have you noticed that? I think, I think I already pet you. Welcome to Jay Pippin's Pushins. Hey, Jay Pippin. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though I don't believe I've seen your face here before. Either. Nope. First it's time. First time in Hogsmeade. First time caller. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? Yes. What can I do for you today? Give me the... Give me the... Give me the... That's weird. A wise decision. Thank you. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. First, I want to... Before I leave, I want to steal your stuff. How about that? How inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Oh, pat yourself on the back more. Why don't you? Okay, you invented flu powder. Great. Flu travel. Whatever. Something... Indispensable. I stole that person's apple. Get over here, bud. Well, hello there. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the ditany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Nope. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. Yep. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo! Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. And what? But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? What? What? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. No, I'm, I'm here for what yeah, I was told around. to pick up, dude. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian. You have a good head for business, haven't you? Yeah, I do. Just, just, no, and we learned that just because I sold a cloak. Appreciate it, weirdo. I officially have all of my supplies. 
Excellent. Did you get I think I might turn the music system? down. It's a bit much. I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Why is control the dodge? That's so far away from my little pinky finger. I, I, I can't dodge. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. What? Oh! Oh! Are we weakening him at all? Let's keep at it. We'll wear him down eventually. I can't dodge. I don't know how to... This control button. Oh! Oh! Why would I, why would I dodge into him? What was that? A taste of his own medicine. Nicely done. I can't. I'm not that great in this. Oh my frick. Why is it only targeting me? Goodness, a second troll. Goodness. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Gestapo. Repair. Oh, hello there. Lucky they didn't do that. I'll go and see what he wants. Less thing for Officer Singer to worry about.
Okay, another flu flame. Where am I going now? Right in here. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Can we talk to this, Mr. Hill? I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. Now? I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't Life be your last saving protections. Encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. That's very kind of you, but I can't accept robes that I didn't pay for. Robes. Yeah, so I'm I'm just I, this playthrough I'm doing now, as if this on for kind of if it were me. Uh, if Don't I do a second playthrough, um, Take your time. I'm going to be a total crap bag, for sure. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad Oh, my back. All right. Uh, traditional well-appointed robe. Five. Ooh. I don't... This dude is still talking over here? I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. My character's I voice is a little weird. The items, should you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Hey man, just just shut up for a minute, all right? Five hundred—that's half my money. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're. You, sh you shush. No. No, I wanted to get that flying page. Look like a dork, but I've got some. Um, oh, I sold my house robe, didn't I? Like an idiot. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. <sighs> Let's go. <sighs> Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I? Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single handed, I took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls 
in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with. <laughs> Dude, why why does everybody act surprised about trolls? I don't get it. Like they exist, right? Is there just like some kind of troll island that they all hide out on? Like Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Ah, that's what it's called, galleons. Drink butterbeer forever. Actually, you can. You can. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Why? Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. What do you mean, what am I not but telling it's you? It's best I do that later. I'm a kid. You think I know what's going on? Night, I think we should head back to the castle. Revelio. Want that flying page right there? Revelio. Accio. Revelio. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Arlo. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we, we will talk to later. Castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. Oh, it's going to make me fast travel? It's not lame, okay? Gryffindor is not lame. I get it. I get the point that because of the movies mo and the books, most people are going to want to choose Gryffindor. But that's just, I mean, that's just what, you know, just is what it is. Uh, when I do the second playthrough, I'm going to do it uh, as a scumbag, so I'm going to be Slytherin. I have an owl post. I Come did see me. I discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. Revelio. That's right. Uh, this is super weird. I gotta go up to go down. I don't see a single thing. Why do we gotta wait? I'll just sit. Okay, that was weird. Hey, babe. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I, you. And Thank I, you. Merlin, you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Look how pretty that my eyes are. Silver. 
Ranrock used it to control the dragon. <laughs> and why send trolls what? to? They were there because of me. Look at my hair too. I got cool ass hair. I want my hair to actually look like this, not Ranrock half bald. Was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me, and he would have had to. I look like a stoner with my with my robe and that scarf around my neck. Indeed. They don't match at if all. Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you. They want what we found in that vault. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? Thank, I do not. Thank you, buddy. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. Hey, is uh, is me aloud, okay? This map appeared. Just wanted to check. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library, a restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Should we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Heckett a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Heckett know to expect you. Man, did you, did you not just hear about me effing up a troll? I messed that troll up. Rebellion. You tell me. I, okay. Look at me. I got a five foot vertical, dude. Look at me. I am nuts. Okay. Rebellion. Am I missing something here? Shows that there is something right here. But it's either up or down. Defending Hogsmeade against trolls. You know, there is such a thing as trying too hard. Watch your slithering mouth. Don't get too cocky simply because you had one victory over Salad. He never backs down from the fight. Who are you talking to, buddy? You have any idea who you're talking to? Where are the dogs, by the way, in this game? Why is it all cats? Give me some tea. Ah, uh, yum. Tea. You're defending Hogsmeade against trolls. You know, there is such a thing as trying... You better watch out who you're talking to like that. Get over here, bud. If only a new student would help me with my What do you want? Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? No. Zenobia Noak. Who? The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Oh, I can see why. Everyone hates you. Why? 
Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports, Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? No. They're for balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. I haven't much interest in a game that sprays you with odors. Only if you lose, which I never do. Or at least, not often. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Ever written a story or a terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. Oh, she's sucking up. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. Maybe it's because you insist on playing a game that spits liquid on them and it stinks. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Probably by flying. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Hello, Zenobia. What did you need help with? I need someone to collect my gobstones that have been hidden in very high places. Why did school. I do this? Where am I going? Downstairs more, I guess. Revelio. <coughs> yes, another inflating charm. How many times do I have to tell you not to use it on other people? You've let me down, and you've let yourself down. But nobody can let Mrs. Doraway down, and it's all your fault. That was awesome. I mean, a courtyard. I've been eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. I suspect most of Slytherins would prefer not to be in a dungeon myself. I've heard that someone tried to be in a dungeon. At first, I thought Professor Garlic might be too young to be a professor. But she's more than capable. No one's heard Gilly Reed from her girdy with that one. You are a little kid student. On what planet would you be able to, to assess whether a professor is too young or not? Rebellion. Am I the only one that saw that that letter flying around? Did I miss it like a what are you up to now? Revelio. You know I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take a picture of that with my phone. That way I know what the hell the numbers are. Uh, um, 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 what just, <laughs> everything just failed on me. 
Okay. Oops. Okay. So which one is first? Anybody know? So two, three-headed serpent, and the question mark equal nine, right? Three-headed serpent, what's that? That's three. So three plus two is what? Five, right? So what is the question mark? Four. So what does that need to be? Some kind of owl-looking thing on a thing, right? Nope. Nope. Yep. What's this one? One plus zero is one. So the other one needs to be three, right? Three is the three-headed serpent. I'm trying to move, not that thing, right? Holy crap, Ola. I found a secret. Relaxed garb. It's up with all these, okay. Six and and weird crab thing. Six and five. So that's eleven. So I need six. Which is the gecko. Weird squid walking thing in zero. How many guess the unicorn? Rebellion. All right, squid thing and gecko. Five and six, so that's eleven. So we need four, which is the owl or something perched on top of something. And we need we have thirteen thing with a beard. Uh, that's a zero, apparently. Uh. Revelio. Cool. This classroom is where students learn about the magical properties of numbers and numerology. Though a great many opt instead to spend the period counting moon calves whilst nodding off at their desks. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Listen, I'm so sick of this. You didn't invent flu powder. You didn't. Okay? You know what flu powder is? It's ashes. It's ashes of the wood that you burn. Here we go. Standing by the hand is palmistry. What? Rebellion. Who are you, bud? What are you studying? And why?
Under Professor Black's direction, it's my honor as deputy head measures our few position of divination professor. Matilda Weasley. Revelio. So, I'm noticing if this were any other game. On high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Yeah, I know you said that already. And I thought I got one. I already got one out of here, right? Accio. Can almost smell this picture, man. Can almost smell it. It's like late spring, kind of late spring, early or er, early fall smell. Rebellion. Okay, let's do this one first. Okay. No idea where that's at. Lumos. Let's go, little butterfly. Let's get you back to your your painting or your mirror painting. Okay, what do we got going on in this room here? Okay, we got a door. Two things to roll. Alright. Uh, one and spider. What is a spider? Eight. So this is nine total, so we need four. That's four. Thirteen. That's sixteen. We need five, which is the weird crab thing. Rebellion. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Yeah, you better. Revelio. What's up with your blank stare there, buddy? Revelio. I have 
not a clue of where I am trying to go right now. 15 plus dragon face. I need, uh, first one's a gecko, I think. Why is it so far away? Oh man, um, that's not Mothra, right? Who's the three-headed thing? I don't even remember. Um, uh, it's twelve. You need a walking squid thing. Okay. Rebellion. Okay. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. I don't even know what the hell I'm working on right now, to be honest with you. Just kind of running around trying to solve all these. Keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Okay, so she's got a gobstone here. Stinky gobstone. Troll. Where in the actual heck? I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gold. Yeah, stones. buddy, it's right there, but I can't get to it, can I? Locked somehow. Off right there. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Rebellion. Sure you have. <clears throat> That's awesome. the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. Revelio. House Cup, Quidditch Trophies, doing trophies on the worst guns. So the one can be found. What are you up to now? None yo business. scary for a second.
I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Yeah, I found them all. Zenobia, I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Before you say that, it was pretty mean. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I... Of course, they are yours after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Speaking of which, now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. Yep, go have fun doing the same stuff that got the gobstones taken away from you.